Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to the Restoration Couple. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how I got to this point, which is fully insulated and ready for plastering. So stick around and I'll show you how we got on. no idea where we've got to uh, from the last clip but I've spent a bit of time over the weekend both kind of tidying up but also sorting out that far end. I've got the stud wall up but I also put that floor down in there loosely fitted so I've brought all the tools and kept everything secure and safe for that end which freed up this down here so now I really need to get this um, plaster wall up because I've got two days basically before the room gets skimmed. You see up top is all continuous now and all those joints will be taped as well so now what I need to move on to is all these walls and get that layer over there. So I've touched on this so many times in previous videos, but whilst I'm doing all this taping, I'll explain why that is. Basically, uh, the, the foil on here is a vapor barrier and probably preaching to the choir here, but if you haven't come across it, uh, you have a vapor check layer or vapor barrier, which stops your warm moist air in the, in the house or in the building, getting through to the insulation or beyond the insulation where it can get trapped or it can condense on the wood or the wall or whatever's behind your your surface of the wall. So it's quite an important thing to do with any form of insulation and you always put it on the warm side. So if I had mineral wool in here, then I would still use a polythene sheet type uh, vapor barrier. Uh, or if it was a floor or a ceiling, you still do the same thing, unless it's a breathable setup. But in this case where we've got insulation in there and we don't want the, the moist air from the house uh, getting through and condensing because it's, it's called interstitial condensation and basically that's what causes rot and damp and all, all, all sorts of things. Um, so the, the reason for doing it is this and the easiest thing with the foil boards like this because this is a, a factory finish vapor barrier um, where you've got cuts and joins or even kind of where you've punctured it with uh, where I've got these washers holding it up temporarily uh, I'm just putting a little bit of tape over there and that just makes it one continuous uh, vapor barrier. Same with wall to ceiling and wall to floor even. So uh, that gives you your envelope and yes in this instance probably quite overkill kind of get, get doing all the details but it's kind of just a mindset and if you get it right now if you come to do a high spec build in the future like we plan to do if we do a passive house build then you're looking at serious air tightness when you, you're using kind of high end, um, high performance tapes and things. And you know, this is kind of a rehearsal for that, I guess. But I think I said it when I came to the loft. If, if I ever I do a self build or even another big renovation, I will definitely be trying to insulate outside of the, um, uh, of the house. So. Well, that's external wall insulation where you're just putting the insulation on the external wall or a warm roof where, you know, obviously your insulation is above your roof structure 
It's just so much easier. I mean, the amount of cutting and fiddling you have to do to get it in between studs or rafters, like we've been doing the last few years, there are quicker ways. So as I touched on in the previous video, this is the point where if you were going to create a service cavity, a service void, this is when you do it. You sealed up all of your final layer of insulation. You can then batten over the top of this um, with kind of 25 mil battens or even 18 mil ply strips maybe. And you'd lay those over where the studs are. And that means that you've got a void that you can run cables in without puncturing through your vapor barrier or air tightness layer but also it means that when you come to fit your plasterboard it's a lot easier and you can use shorter screws you can find where the timbers are more easily in this instance I didn't actually decide to do that I've done that in the loft but here I had a slightly different way of doing the cabling because we were bringing the floor level up I didn't need to run anything in the walls itself so um, I'm actually going to install my plasterboard over the top of this plaster um, insulation layer and I've marked on the insulation where all my timbers are or all my studs are and providing this insulation layer is also um, screwed to the timbers you can use a, an adhesive in a few areas if you have to to bond the plasterboard directly to it just if you can't find a timber in one spot. One thing I didn't detail in the last video is the bottom timber plate off the stud wall. I set that off by 25mm. You can see I'm using that 25mm insulation layer as a spacer. That meant that that uninsulated space below the floor, I had the same 100mm between those mini studs and then 25mm over the whole joist, over the whole timber. And then when it got to the stud wall height, it then carried on up flush. There was no need for insulation within that stud wall. Uh, because that's another internal room the other side. So we got there in the end, it's a long old slog this insulating and not a particularly tidy job, messy, dusty and far too many off cuts and, and wastage but uh, it's done, we're all taped up and the next stage is going to be to get it all boarded out ready for plastering. Now the plaster is available on Wednesday which gives me a day uh, it gives me about 24 hours to get this whole thing ready. I'm going to try and get the ceiling at least boarded tonight. I've got a little bit of uh, messing around with the windows and doors as well to make sure they're ready so I can get them to plaster right up to the reveals. As I'm wrapping up this video, I've six two more here. Both of these are going to be about insulating when we came to see the loft and other projects, uh, which might go into it in a little bit more detail. If you enjoyed this one give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with this project and many others but that's it thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time